In this video, I'm going to find the prime factorization of 132, then go on and look at the prime factorization of 4095. So given those are two integers, we like to find the prime factorization. When you are looking at prime factorization, we want to express a number as a product of its prime factors. So what you want to do there is express 132 as a product of its prime factors. So I will go on and write my 132. So we start by the smallest uh, prime number there, the 2. Check if it uh, divides uh, that uh, 132. So 132 divided by 2, we see that it gives us a 66. So therefore 132 there is 2 times 66. Then we now look again at the one that we now have, the 66. Check if it can be divided by 2 there. We see it's possible. So 66 divided by 2 gives us a 33. So that uh, product there would give us 2 times 2 times 33. Now go on and uh, look at the 33. We start by looking at uh, the smallest prime number there. The 2 is not a factor of the 33. We look at the 3. The 3 is a factor. 33 divided by 3 gives us an 11. So we would have that uh, our expression now is 2 times 2 times 3 times 11. 11 there is a prime number there. So we have expressed now our 132 as a product of prime factors. And we can just rewrite the 2 times 2 there, which gives us 2 to the power 2 times 3 times 11. So that's the prime factorization of 132. We can now go on to the second part, the prime factorization of 4095. So I will write my 4095. And you want to find its prime factors. So I'll start by the smallest uh, prime factor, a 2. And does it divide the 4095? In this case, it doesn't. So go to the next one, the 3. 495 divided by 3 is possible. It gives us a 1365. So we have that is equals to 3 times 1365. We now want to find the prime factors of this 1365. We start by the 2. 2 is not a factor of that 3. 1,365 divided by 3 gives us a 455. So we have that there is equals to 3 times 3 times 455. We now want to find the prime factors of the 455. We start by the smallest one, the 2. It's not a factor. The 3. It's not a factor. The 5. 5 is a factor there. Was 455 divided by 5. It gives us a 91. So we have our expression there is 3 times 3 times 5 times 91. Now go on and look at the prime factors of the 91 there. So we can uh, go on and look at the next prime number there. After the 5, we can try the 7. 91 divided by 7 it gives us a 13. So our expression becomes 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 13. The 13 here is a prime number. It doesn't have any other factors. So what we have found there, that's the prime factorization of 4095, which we can write as 3 squared times 5 times 7 times 13. So we have here, that's the prime factorization of 4095. 